Ways for Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, um, a possible way of actually them uh, making the demo, a glorified demo or a uh, glorious demo, depending on how you look at it, uh, uh, worth for some people. I'm happy with it, it's fine, but this would have made it like crazy, crazy cool. Um, Basically, what it would be is um, them allowing you to uh, create missions in uh, Camp Omega. Um, the easiest way for them to do it would be just a uh, procedurally generated map um, level that it would do. And then you could just uh, tweak some of the stuff. But I'm going to go with one that would be more in depth. And then you can kind of pull it back in your head and uh, uh, think it uh, uh, up uh, along the lines of it being procedurally done uh, where you're choosing these uh, a couple of these things in a rollout and whatnot um, but basically the first one on here is I have uh, day morning evening night I'm not sure um, the uh, how much uh, flexibility you'd want to do with in this with uh, the game? It could just be that simple, just four, and then technically you could actually have it three gradually move in between here too. So it could be um, technically eight if they really wanted to. It's depending on all all what would be available and work well with um, uh, timing and whatnot and resources, um, weather. You'd be able to choose the weather of a rollout of a mission. Sunny, rain, snow. Those are the three that have kind of been used. But there's different cloud cover on top of that that they could be cho chosen. But I think they just, within Ground Zeroes, they just went with the kind of the more evening, morning kind of scenarios for them. Um, and day. Uh, let's see here. Then we do rollout. Basically, what, it, what that would be is your um, stuff that you've picked up uh, will, will will be picked up before you um, went out on your mission. And the next thing would be starting point, is where you would start the mission. They could do a weird thing where they just you just mark it on the map and start it, but it would be better if you could actually. Like do debug style where you actually drop your character in a, a specific location. Um, vehicle placing um, on the map. Same here, debug mode would be better. Um, and then also ammo placement. Uh, you The places that you usually find the ammo is um, on shelves, but then also in the little huts, the checkpoint hut type looking things as well. Um, technically, you could also place these on the ground. The other cool thing is, is we'd be able to do is maybe actually place items and ammo on um, on people. Um, on here, down here, we go to guards. We actually equip them, like I said, with uh, ammo and items. Um, the cool thing also within this, we could do um, uh, something that I'll talk about um, over here in a minute. Um, you could do movement of the characters, um, how long they stop at each stop point from A to B to C, actually getting into stuff, and then manning a, a certain thing, like the towers or the um, anti-aircraft uh, things. Um, I did not draw one of the uh, vehicles that are over here. There's the uh, bus, helicopter. I'm not po positive about it being um, feasible. Uh, there's this uh, being able to add text because they when they talk, there's mumbo jumbo. It's just uh, mumble speak. We could actually write in our own text below it, and then actually add updates to the map 
where we could actually basically tell the character what has been done or whatever information that they're given and whatnot. Um, some of that stuff uh, would be um, tricky here and there um, with figuring out how to tie all that together, but um, if uh, if you have a kind of a relational debug mode for uh, people and items that are have been already been placed in the map, then you could just connect it to it. So then it would activate it when um, this person was talked to. The other thing with this is is also you could get them to drop items as well. Um, the only time that you really see this happen is in a, a cassette tape in the game where you could do weapons, guns, and that kind of stuff as well. So um, the other thing is is action um, movement. So when they're in a kind of a, I heard a noise or they're they're looking kind of for someone, basically what their action movement is. So it's basically doing that, and then there would be their uh, combat positions. You'd need to program that as well, or state what they would be doing, um, or their alert action or movement. And this would mean like uh, going from the idea, like getting into a, a, a jeep that's nearby and driving around. That's what they're doing in the real world. They get, go get into a, a tower and that in that mode. Or they just search around the area. Um, that kind of a thing. Um, a lot of this stuff, I think, would be uh, already programmed to the thi into the, uh, the game itself because it seems like the AI actually has it set up to call the nearest person around the environment into the area to search for it and then if they're not in that area that zone then um, the uh, other people just go into kind of a heightened alert status um, this is would be another one is some of the characters are uh, I'll look for stuff when they see something or they'll get someone else to do it these are usually tower people it seems like what I've noticed but I'm not sure who uh, what designates this but that would also be you need to be something that uh, is uh, connected into it where you can actually decide if they're going to hold position or not um, then they would move over here then there would be the other thing you'd actually do is mission objectives you could probably stack a bunch of these on top of it to um, make it really complicated or less complicated. Um, the ones that I've uh, seen that they've done that they could usually have used would be to, uh, the rescue or extraction missions, eliminations or assassination missions, um, retrieve missions, and this is usually items um, with that. Uh, and then uh, uh, destroy or sabotage. This could be vehicles and towers and other other um, large areas. Uh, and then let's see here. And then we have extermination. Extermination kind of goes with like the killing the birds and that kind of stuff. But then you could do extermination for the whole whole group of people or whatever you're exterminating. And, or in destroying a whatever's in there. That idea of spawning birds and stuff like that, um, any of the weird stuff like that, I don't know how hard that would be. That might be a little bit crazy. Um, it could be just adding stuff that has already been programmed and you're saying yes or no for them to exist in the world. So it's a little bit pulled back. Um, and then protection. Protection. Uh, would be more of a wave scenario kind of a thing if you could actually have uh, people coming at, uh, loading into the map a bunch and then you're having to hold your ground for a certain amount of time for probably an extraction or something like that. Um, then you have intelligence kind of thing where you could actually just do missions where you're marking people, that's your objective, or you're marking items. 
that's something that I feel that should uh, actually happen in the game myself where you should be able to mark items onto your map not just have someone uh, that you talk to or get uh, uh, intelligence from by holding them up uh, to get items on your map um, this is another thing is is uh, listening to targets um, there's probably preset stuff that you could use but then technically it would be interesting if you could actually use your headset to record dialogue um, that they would actually say. Um, obviously in that scenario it would probably be crappy, uh, the, the sound of what they're saying, but um, yet again, um, uh, they could also do uh, text with it as well, so yeah. that text. So then you could actually do text too, so even if your speaking is off, then there's that. Um, mission helicopter stuff, uh, protection and cover, what they did with that with videos in that. That one would be tricky. I guess you could try to do A, B, C, D movements with the helicopter flying around and then lay out people on the ground and then you shoot at them. But um, I don't know how the animation and the AI with the helicopter work or the path. That may be <coughs> a little bit more tricky. Um, uh, there's this uh, cassette tapes can actually hold new missions this is the um, and then also um, can uh, record a message with it with the headset um, this would work because the they the recordings kind of could have uh, the idea that it sounds like a recording so it would work with you talking into it be perfectly fine and this goes with uh, missing mis mission chaining uh, where you would actually create a mission and you would actually c include a cassette tape and you don't have to add audio to the tape or not but basically you would give, I give information for a second mission that, that, that would be opened up that they could people could download from your console or from a server and then after they download uh, that mission, uh, then they can play through kind of a story arc kind of a thing that you could actually create. Um, the other idea is, is for replay unlockables, just like actually in the game where you actually get weapons that are unlocked when you get a certain level of, uh, what do you call it, um, rating on it. I do not know how ratings would technically work in this. Uh, Maybe you'd be able to create a, 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 a basically a, a point amount for how much points that the person is actually having to get, and then also you'd actually uh, how much points each thing would actually be, how much points a, a rescue would be, how much points this would be, how much points that would be, and then you're just you would have to do the math yourself with that, I guess if you're going to even bother with, with doing that type of a thing in, in the game. But I think that's technically it. But yeah, basically building your own missions, building your own your own, your own setups with it, within it would be really fun. Um, scenarios and, and whatnot would be really interesting to see what people came up with. Um, me just coming up with this idea, I know there's a quite a few weird things that come into my mind. Um, it would end up uh, turning into uh, kind of l micro little big planets. And then also the other thing that you have that would be interesting with it is that you'd uh, be uh, creating, uh, what is it, almost like the subsistence, the, um, the, the plus games where where they did these uh, micro VR missions or these off missions where you could just do a finite weird um, puzzle solving kind of a thing not where you're doing a full on mission where it's like okay all the bad guys are just sitting on a heliport and you're just doing something interesting and weird with it and you have to perform certain things uh, to finish it um, 
The other thing is is the um, other weird achievements that are in the in the game where you're like marking all the targets, eliminating all the birds, that kind of stuff. You could actually include that stuff into it, turning it on and off as well. Um, but yeah, that's my two cents that with that. Um, if you guys have uh, any other like suggestions with that, that'd be cool. I don't know if uh, Hideo or the team would be too busy to to do something or anything like this. I, I doubt they would. Um, it'd be funny to see a. Uh, this short demo game actually get a subsist subsistence or um, uh, a, a plus uh, version of it where this was available and this is would be the, uh, the extension to it but um, that's that guys and uh, let me know what you guys think I guess um, Thanks for watching and see you all later.